Hi, I'm Topeka K. Sam, founder and executive director of the Ladies of Hope Ministries. Our epic mission is to end poverty and incarceration of women and girls globally. And right now I'm introducing my sister, my lovely mentee, Nequasia Pollard. Nequasia had the great opportunity of being introduced through Taconic's reentry program when she was being released from prison after 16 years of incarceration. At that time, she was on her way transitioning out and we were just starting Hope House and she was actually the LOHM's first employee. And as a result of that, we created um, the LOHM, a Hope Scale model, which was to transition women successfully through Hope House and whatever additional programmings that we wanted them to have in order to be able to, in the end, empower themselves to exit and have sustainable housing for a lifetime. Nequasia and her partner, Tammy Eldridge, who's still presently, presently incarcerated on a life sentence, created all of the programming to go into the Hope Scale model. Nequasia, I appreciate you, I adore you. You have taken on this project by its horns, or I would say its butterfly wings, and have carried it and helping to carry these sisters successfully through reentry. I'm honored and humbled to be able to introduce my baby girl, Nequasia Bollard. The Hope Scale means a lot to me because it was a part of my progress of how I wanted to live my life during my re-entry. I had to go through a healing process and still on that journey. I had to embrace opportunity. I had to make power and progress. And I also had to empower myself and others. I left a lot of women behind. However, they're never forgotten. Anytime I step into Hope House, it gives me a feel that I have an opportunity to pour into a woman that someone poured into me. I always wanted to provide something that was essential for the women that I left behind. I left behind my partner, Tammy Eldridge, who helped me expand out Hope Scale. We added components to the Hope Scale that were essential to women upon re-entry and for them to be successful thereafter. Each letter represents a lot to each and every one of us with H, which means hope and healing. Healing comes from within. That's something that no one can provide for you. That's a choice that you make to want to go on that journey. That journey may be ugly. That journey makes you reflect on your past. And I too had to go through the healing process upon my re-entry. O, which is for opportunity and optimism. You have to be optimistic about anything you wanna do when you are seeking opportunities to better yourself as a woman, to better yourself as a mother, to better yourself as an individual. P, progress. The progress that you will make, you will reflect back from when you first entered the house. You would reflect back when you first stepped on the concrete and you was free. You were liberated. It gives you a sense of power that you can move on and to design how you want your destiny to be in the future. E, empowerment. You have to always empower others, empower yourself, and they will come together and you will go on your journeys for a successful exit out the house. Some examples of workshops that we offer the women are music to your life, art therapy, and movie night. Music to your life is an anthem that you play as a woman in your head when you need to feel empowered, when you feel swaggy, when you feel like you're the most beautiful woman on earth. It's beautiful to have to actually see the women part participate in the exercise. They go back to their childhood when they felt happy. They go back to their childhood when they weren't happy, but that music made them get by. The art therapy provides a woman to go through each phase of her re-entry, from her being incarcerated, from her re-entering back into society. And what does her goals look like within that crystal ball? We all have a crystal ball, we all dream, and we all dream big. What we offer to the women at Hope House when we dream big, to dream realistically, that there's no limitations to what you want to do and what you want to achieve. When me and Tammy went back and forth on what movies we should pick, 
we had to reflect on what type of trauma have these women gone through for them not to be triggered while they're watching these movies. We chose to have therapeutic movies that will help, help them add to their healing process. For example, the Eddie, Mo Eddie Murphy movie, A Thousand Words. This was a man that wasn't unable to speak because he would lose life. However, he had to learn how to forgive in order to be renewed. And that's what we offer to these women, how to be renewed, how to forgive from our past, our present, which just dictates our future. I want to take this time and opportunity to thank Tammy Eldridge. That is serving a life sentence that poured into me everything that she had in order to make me great. She seen my potential as a young woman entering a mass incarceration at the age of 19 and pregnant. She helped me throughout my pregnancy until I had to let my child go. She always empowered me to let me know that you are always a woman. You are woman first. And don't allow outside forces to dictate who you're going to be and who you are. She is a sister that I left behind, among many others. But each and every day that she calls me, she gives me more and she empowers me to be a better me. She empowers me to pour into these women all that I have to offer the world. And I appreciate her for that. I want to take this time out to thank Topeka Case here. She gave me hope from the time we had our conversation over the phone to the time I came home. I came home on a Thursday. I sat in the Hope House on a Tuesday and she hired me on the spot. Her exact words were, you're a little rough around the edges, but I can work with you. I see greatness in you and you have a lot to offer. I was the first employee at Hope House, at the Ladies of Hope Ministries overall. She believed in me, just as if she believes in me now. She is my mentor and my sister. And I want to thank her for all the opportunities that she ever afforded me upon my re-entry. Thank you.